So this is a rant. <laughs> this video is a rant against um, almost all personal productivity advice. And I'm going to explain to you again my, my role here on YouTube. One of them anyway is to teach people why they procrastinate because it will open up your life when you figure that out. But the advice out there is horrendous. It's well-intentioned for sure, but it's, it's trivial at best. It's superficial. It doesn't tell you anything about what's really going on when this is happening, when you're self-sabotaging and when you're not moving forward in a goal that you know you want to. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to, just explain to you the whole problem here. Really, the way a lot of people see this is that they see the difference. They, they, they think people have, are, are basically in one of two mindsets when it comes to this. A lot of you know motivational speakers, a lot of people who try to motivate people or to help you with personal productivity will tell you that you're either in a lazy mindset where you're not doing enough or you're in the, the winner bracket or the winning mindset or the productive mindset. And these are your two options. That's the way they frame it. And it's completely wrong and it's not helpful. Because I'll tell you what's really going on. Most people are in a paradigm of, sure, lazy. Okay, or in other words, your goals don't matter. Forget about it. Doesn't matter. I can do it later. That sort of stuff. And there's this one. And it is not the product, product, ugh, productive mindset. It's actually the bossy mindset. These are the, the two mindsets that people are fluctuating between when procrastination takes place. Lazy and bossy. Productivity is nowhere to be seen in this equation. Okay? So what's the conversation like when you have a goal that you want to accomplish and you're not doing it? Well, lazy, look, forget about it, doesn't matter. We can do it later, I'm tired. I need to read another book. Just put it off, it's not that big of a deal, right? That's not helpful. So we think the productive one, which is really bossy in disguise. Bossy is, you don't have time for this. You should have done it last week. It's not gonna be good enough now. Get up off the couch, right? You don't have time for holidays. That's the bossy mindset. And this is the productive thing. It's productivity in disguise. So our, our, our problem isn't laziness at all. We all know laziness isn't helpful. It's the fact that we, we have totally, we're confused about what productivity is. We've confused productivity with bossiness. That's the two internal voices that we're fluctuating between. And we hate both of them. <laughs> we don't like either one. So what we have to do is drop them. In fact, what we have to do is get in touch with a completely different voice, a completely different mentality. Now, you may not like this, but this different mentality, it's not lazy and it's not bossy, it's compassionate. You have to start with self-compassion. Absolutely being consciously aware that I have a goal and I want to move forward in my life. Never forget that, never drop that. That's Compassion loves that. But compassion will show you a way to do that that is n nothing like bossiness. It will say to you, the next thing you can do is easy. Just a small step is all we're looking for right now. How are we going to have fun today? Okay, we're going to move towards our goal, but we need to enjoy ourselves. We need to put ourselves first. I need to have boundaries with my work. Okay, I can't do too much because I'll burn out. That's what compassion sounds like. And if you are in touch with that voice, and that voice is up here, it's a t completely different level of consciousness, really. Lazy bossy, lazy bossy are just down here and will keep you in an endless loop of confusion and despair and self-loathing and self-sabotage and, and just depression. Compassion works. Compassion works opens everything up. It really, really does. You'll be way more productive with compassion than either of those other two voices. Which is why, you know, when I see a lot of these videos, get up, you know, they're, they're, and they're supposed to be motivating you. Get up, do more, push yourself, do what I did. Right? I'm showing you the success they've had and all that. 
all true success comes through compassion for yourself okay it's not bullying yourself we we don't want that anymore and then you know we're, we're these this lazy this this lazy bossy stuff this is all conditioning from a, a voice that we may have heard a long time ago it could be teachers it could be a parent it could be anybody right and it could now be some motivational speaker if you hear in your ear yelling at you that you're not doing enough unless any, a motivational speaker is telling you to set boundaries for yourself and see yourself as more important than any goal you have in your life as your starting position i would just say move away step away it's not going to lead you anywhere good I promise you that we're, we're looking for something deeper okay and it's not hard it's just what could i do for myself today what's easy get in touch with what's easy what's doable how can i start to feel good about myself just gradually doesn't have to be overnight it can be a gradual slow unfolding process of your, your own life story moving towards the completion of your goal that's what compassion is it's just self-talk it's questioning the bossiness okay thank you it's questioning the laziness for sure so it's a question in that stuff and it's just opening yourself up to a different way forward in your life taking care of yourself when you do that you set boundaries clear boundaries with you and your work i'm more important than any of these goals you will watch a byproduct of that is your productivity will go off the scale okay you get way more done that way and the quality of your work will be way better your goals will be easily accomplished there'll be no drama there'll be no endless indecision and inner conflict there'll be no pushing yourself towards your goal you'll move gradually towards your goal you'll be drawn towards your goal so that's something i want you to bear in mind okay start with self-compassion forget bossy forget lazy up here is where you want to be i hope that helps and uh, if you agree with me i really want to hear it so you can leave a comment below if you'd like and uh, you can subscribe here if you think i'm onto something with this idea because i'll make more videos on this i'm going to keep yelling this from the rooftops because i think it's it's a concept people need to hear so subscribe and uh, you can share this video with a friend if you like if you think it's something that they need to hear right now and stay tuned i'll see you in the next one bye